Questions? Comments? Yeah, I, I've got one. I, I just think we're at a place of decision. Yahoo is bringing us to a place of decision here today. Um, 14 years ago, my son gave me a documentary on the Red Sea crossing, and I had watched that thing a couple of times. I was very intrigued with it. Just something touched me in my spirit. And after a couple of weeks, I began thinking about this and, and just meditating on it. And I kept hearing in my spirit, P. Hathi Roth, P. Hathi Roth. And so I sought Yahuwah on this, and he showed me that in Exodus chapter 13, this was the place that the children of Israel had encamped before the Red Sea. Uh, a, a delta that had washed out. Pharaoh's army was advancing down the dried up riverbed. There were 3,000 foot tall mountains. There was no way for them to escape. Um, they had to come to a place of decision and many of them murmured against Moshe. And But he, he told them, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. So he showed me that we are all, he, he spoke to me audibly rather, and he said, we're all, you are all stand at the shore at Pihati Road, meaning a place of decision where we go back to Babylon, take the mark, whatever it means, so that we can eat, so that we can live a nice comfy life, or whether we, where we trust him and stand still and see his salvation. Amen. It's going to be the same thing, y'all. And uh, I believe we're coming I see this about we're we're gonna we're moving towards that place called Pihati He wrote the place of decision. So what will we do? Uh, will, will we just blow this off and and you know go home and go our merry ways and go back to sleep, or will we really take it to heart and begin praying, uh, you know, adamantly toward uh, for the Father to to show us what to do here, and uh, you know because. You know the the scripture says, "Works without faith is is or faith without works is dead." So uh, we we need to really, I think, get this ball rolling on this thing because I don't believe we have much time. I, I like Brother Jeff here. I mean, you know, things look very uh, bleak for September. So well, on that note. Um, what, what, Kate was speaking, I for the last like decade or more, basically out of all the things that are going to happen in America there was only two things that were given to me to do. One being buying seed that's non-hybrid so that we can be that full food culture for the future because it isn't like if things happen this fall in America that everything's just going to quit. We're going to progress and the years are going to unfold so seeds are going to become a very vital point, which the nations are already doing that with their seed vaults. But we personally have an obligation to collect the seeds that the Father's putting in our hearts to collect, whether it's flower seeds or food seeds. And the other thing that I've been telling people for over a decade is to buy silver, simply because just as the sons of Issachar. Most of us know that this deficit will never be restored. We know that the nation's dollar is going to collapse. Just It's inevitably a matter of time. When it does, most people don't know the answer for what will we do. We're not going to sit around and barter forever. The nations already know what they're going to do. So I've been professing that we will go to the Amero, which is just like the Euro as a currency, and it will be backed with silver. <coughs> so if you have we'll silver... Be by well, we'll see. I'm just telling you. and you. Can, yeah. So... If you have silver, you'll be way ahead of the majority of Americans who don't uh, invest in it and way ahead of those who determine to keep all their cash in the banks, as we've already seen in Europe, the run that Greece is trying to form and others. You're just going to lose your money in America, and you won't have nothing, and you'll be in bread lines and soup lines and kitchens. Or you can do what I've been telling people to do for the last 10 years, which is to buy silver, and when they create the Amero, it will be what will be used for uh, our currency in America. And you'll already have an account way ahead of others, and we'll be able to buy when this thing starts moving again. Because the Bitcoin's far off. I mean, it, it isn't part of the banking systems yet. It is globally, but it isn't in the American soils yet. We've got to unite Canada and Mexico yet for us to come into this pillar of what we're becoming. So those are the only two things I said. As far as everything else in America, you're going to be able to buy it for a dollar a dime. A loaf of bread, it'll be a man's wages, as we know. Cars, 
chairs, guitars, you'll be able to buy them all day long for nothing. So nothing's going to have any value. But when you want to be able to do things that has to do with Yahweh, whatever it is, we just took up a collection because it took money to make this camp thing happen. So if we're supposed to be the head and not the tail, economics plays a role. And when Joseph was second in command to Pharaoh, he had the commodity of wheat. You could call it NAFTA's wheat, or you could call it the NASDAQ wheat, but they, he was in control of it. So we have got to place ourselves in that same position. Thank you. Okay, any last comments before we close? Any last comments before we close? Go ahead, Alan. Yeah, last comment will just be a principle. And the principle is, uh, as Proverbs chapter 4 says, it says, the light of the just, the path of the justice is a shining light. It'll get brighter and brighter into the coming day. So with all the statements that have been made, there's been nuances and differences. But the fact is, you stay on the path of the just. And the path will get brighter and brighter until the coming day. And so we're, we're preparing for things and preparing for things and preparing for things and preparing for things. We just keep walking on the path of the just. Keep touching the lives of people. Um, most of all, as Gary Hancock says all the time, he says, you know, I'm preparing with hopes that I don't have to use it. But most of all, what you want to do is you don't want to be a source of a problem. You want to be, you want to be a person who actually is taking care of your own needs so that you can actually help other people. Amen. So that's all I wanted to say, just in principle. Would you want to close in prayer? Father, thank you so much for giving us this weekend. Uh, here on this first day of the week, we uh, break down camp. We get ready to move. We're going to follow your leadership before the rain even comes. I want to thank you, Father, for the showers of blessing that you provided in the unity that you've been fostering this weekend and also for the wisdom that you're providing on a daily basis. Thank you for uh, Rory's statements and his teaching and Catriel's leadership and his teaching and Jeff's additions and all the other things that have been stated here. I just want to say thank you. And thank you for the rest of us who just were soaking like sponges. Instead of just listening to men, we want to listen and we want to hear your voice clearly. So speak to us in the days ahead and cause us, Father, to act in faith which has been a very important theme through this weekend. Thank you for preparing our hearts for the summertime, for the month of August, September, for preparation and repentance, nationally, independently, individually, and then for you bringing us together for Sukkot to celebrate. And what would it be like? We just can't wait. So I want to thank you for the provisions of this camp. Thank you for the blessings of the food, for the teaching, for the music, for the fellowship, for all that you've provided and for new relationships that have been fostered and will continue to grow in depth. And thank you for rekindling and structuring our lives, Father, to be a unit so that we can become the community that will bring light to this world. And we'll give you praise for it in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Just a final thought. Remember, if you uh, want uh, any other donations, the donations is over there on Carrie's vehicle. And help others take down their tents, camps. And uh, amen and amen. Amen. Amen.